the one thing I have more faith in than God is women never fixing their stupidity. They are so, 80% of marketing and media targets the credit card holder, which is the women. Right. Since toddlers, they're brainwashed to be sluts. I feel like we don't have a fighting chance. So, Joe, what's important to you? Jesus is king, and that's it. And, and what does that mean, Jesus is king? That means when we peaked at 100,000 viewers and everyone plugged in their programs, their, I have a dating course, I could have made a bunch of money at the peak viewership on Rumble when we peaked. Uh -huh. But I just said Jesus is king because I'm not here for money. Every other Christian channel is grifting. They, you can be gay and Christian and you, they do all this stuff, they're doing it for money. Right. When we were talking yeah. earlier, you said Nick and I should run for office, right? Yeah. Nick, you, me are the last three masculine channels online. Isn't that kind of sad? There's no one else? No, it is. And so we have to sit down. You had Vosh, Destiny, and Hassan Piker, the three homosexuals, the trinity of homosexuality. <laughs> you had them here, and we got to talk to them all day. And they try and call us radicals because we say we don't want to get our dicks cut off. <laughs> is it radical to not want your penis cut off? Or your, or, or your son to go on hormone blockers at 15? Do you think that if, if men were to protect their children from that, because I've noticed that men are not leading their wives now. And so it's mostly the mothers who are like, because of their emotional state, they are for that. Do you think if the men were the head of their wives that that would be happening? Yes, but again, you look at Andrew Tate and all these right wing kind of like operatives that help us, they say dumb sh like women have their role and are good at some things, and men have their role and they're good at other things. That's not true, Jesse. Women suck at everything. The greatest chefs on are men, Gordon Ramsay. If you get shot by a bullet, you don't want a female nurse to drag you. She can't pick, pick us right. up. Yeah. We want a man. Yeah. So if you're gonna lead, lead by absolute authority, not this, honey, you listen to me, so I'll buy you something, no. It's either 100% masculine rule or nothing. And so what happened to the men that they became so weak? You said it best. First of all, everyone agrees. Even atheists that were born in a fallen state, yeah. right? Yeah. We're born to sin. Yeah. We adopt feminine traits. And that's why these women walk all over us, right? When you adopt the spirit of your mother, you talk about right. I mean, yeah. you can see that when Hassan Piker and Destiny talk, the gynecomastia, the prolactate is shooting out their nipples. They're growing mammary <laughs> glands. Oh, no. You can see the feminine energy. And here's the weird thing. I hate bragging about getting women because that's like getting, you know, fooling an idiot. Like it's the easiest thing on earth. But the most toxic masculine channel, me, the most banned channel from Twitch, YouTube, all that. And now I'm back. And I got every single girl at every single convention while the guys were Hassan Piker. They're all good looking guys. They all had way more followers, way more status and influence, but the girls follow them toxic masculine. Why? Because women want it and men, we crave it the most. And so now that you're getting the attraction of all these women and they start to follow you and listen to you, are they changing? Is that helping them in any way? Yeah, so I went viral because one of them said in the first few days of dating me, I get all the passwords. If I start dating a girl, I have all your social media passwords, right? You can still make me some money. You can be on social media right now. I just met you, you're a stranger. But I get all the passwords and then she said, hey, do you want me to delete my OnlyFans? Where she posts her lingerie pictures and all that satanic stuff. All right. And people were shocked, they're like, oh my God, you can change these girls. Yes, if you are a high status masculine guy, they will stop being liars, Jesse. You can change them. And so they're changing from what to what? From whore to less whore. Uh, but they're still a whore, they're just less whore. Like from, you know, remember the slut and slut maker? Right. This is slut to reformed slut. Because remember, anyone can be saved. Right. Jesus can save anyone. That's right. But women are in a fallen state and they're like that because, uh, as you said earlier, they're born into the father thing through the mother and the father is supposed to help them overcome. Um, but fathers are not doing that. So you, do you see women doing your work? Do you see women becoming 
more of uh, the nature of God than that of the devil? Definitely after meeting me, they become like a lot better. But the problem is I grew up in this beast system, so I do have sex with them. I am tempted, I fall too. Right. So that's the only problem. But if we get, if we get past that, if we get me married, yes, I can convert a bunch of women, but it's exhausting, Jesse. It's like one guy has to do this. If there's 10 of me, we could influence 10 million easily. But this is like exhausting. It's like I have to date 500 women to bring them to Christ. Can we have a few more channels like me helping me out? Like what the f do you Do you plan to get married one day and, and start your own family? You're gonna hate me when I say this and you know, like pardon my French, it feels like blasphemy, but the one thing I have more faith in than God is women never fixing their stupidity. They are so, 80% of marketing and media targets the credit card holder, which is the women. Right. Since toddlers, they're brainwashed to be sluts. I feel like we don't have a fighting chance. So a lot of these guys say, go to Colombia, go here, go. I gotta go over the wall to find a wife, right? So I'm thinking to myself, if I answer this, yeah, I do wanna be married, but is it realistic? Right? I, if I get married, is she a virgin? Because I'm giving her security, financial security, physical security, uh, a beautiful 6'5 Albanian man. She's getting everything. I'm getting a woman that, that someone ejaculated inside of. Like, she's not even a virgin, Jesse. Should I be marrying a non-virgin? Is that fair to someone like Brad Pitt has to marry a non-virgin? I think I'll kill myself. But, but women need men to be right so that they can be right. And so... If they don't have that growing up and when they're young ladies and then they meet someone that really want to help them overcome, how would a women in America change if men like you don't help them, show them how to do it? It's blackpilling, I know, but don't you believe there's psychic distrust? As soon as we start dating a girl, in the back of our psyche, we're thinking someone had sex with her already. So there's already tr this distrust from the beginning, from the honeymoon phase where, when we're having fun. Right. So I don't want to say like I've given up, but I want a Christian theo theocratic nation to fix this. Because if everyone was promised a virgin, you know, we would go skipping to work. Men would be, we'd be building 10 bridges a day. And people are like, you're attracted physically to a hymen. I'm not attracted to a virgin physically. I'm saying I want the trust. That if I did, a, right now my girlfriend, she's 18, I'm 29. So I guess I'm a all right? But it's so much better knowing that, you know, I had a virgin. Now, I'm not saying I'm marrying her. This girl's got serious flaws. But if everyone in America was dating virgins, we would fix all the world's problems because every problem on earth comes from the will of God is masculine. But what about the will of the devil? It's feminine, right. correct? Absolutely. So women, single mothers, you talk about this, if, eight, if they have an 80% chance their kids grow up to be shooters, criminals, drug dealers. I was a drug dealer, they took, but I didn't come from a single mom, right? So I f***ed it up all by myself. But single mothers are 95% of the problem on earth because to be a single mother is just a synonym for the biggest loser on earth, right? Yeah, You're I a know. fucking loser. Single moms contribute to every, all the chaos on earth. That's exactly where the devil is in, in the ovary. But what I, I don't, I, and you write that the women are born into the earth through the fallish, into the fallish state. But if men don't show them how to get right, because they don't know if someone don't tell them and show them right, and you are meeting a lot of women and you say, you're a Christian, if you don't start showing them the right way or, or treating them that way, how would they get better? Because it's got, as you said, it's hard to find a virgin woman nowadays. It's simple. Get the fuck out of the workforce and no education for them. Because let's be honest, they're finishing all these degrees, but they are like, what is it, like 90% of the debt in the U.S.? How the fuck are they finishing all this college? And the reason our nation is in debt is because of these dumb bitches. Like, it's so obvious. We're in a, stuck in a group project 
with some, some of these people have up syndrome. Like we're stuck in a group project with women failing for thousands of years. Plato, Aristotle, Schopenhauer, Nietzsche, they all came to the conclusion that women need to f off so they, ben they benefit from fing off. We're stuck in a group project with fing idiots and the whole world as the purchasing power increased. We all have iPhones and cars. Highest anxiety, depression, and despair we've ever seen. Now people are themselves in their Ferraris. What? The women don't want to work, Jesse. And they, they don't work. Do they work their whole lives? No, they don't. They need to get out of the workforce and just go start getting pregnant like the good old days. The 1950s was the best time to be amazing. a woman. You know, I'm not going to say the R word, but R word and harassment and sexual harassment did not exist in the 1950s. And they bring up the argument that it happened. Well, no, because the husbands were abusive. And I'm like, excuse me? You guys are going on Tinder and getting roofied at the bar. You, every one of you is touched since teenagers by strangers. You want to compare that to your husband saying, shut the fuck up, bitch, in the, well, while you're in the kitchen. In the 1950s, women didn't have these problems. They didn't even drink alcohol back then. But they didn't have those problems because the men were men then. And so my question is, if men were men, would the women be out of control? Absolutely not. But again, when we say men have to be men, it's almost this gay Andrew Tate bald position of be a man just to be a man. What is it to be a man is to follow God. You don't fall in love with your wife. Right, you follow, you love right. God. And so are you helping men to turn back to God? Absolutely. I converted 1,400 of the youth and I got my team that I pay to check if there's bots or fake accounts or just, you know, bullshit. We checked, we got their high schools, we got everything on emails, DMs and everything, 1,400. A lot of them were previously Muslims like me, converted to Christ in one week of one comedy routine I did on a dating show called Fresh and Fit. I broke a world record. So my, and these pastors and priests and stuff, oh, you're a little too radical, you're too, you guys aren't doing your job. I'm doing your job for you, so shut the fuck up, get the fuck out of the way, clown. I converted 1,400 in one week. When these big channels can't do f one conversion a day, they're uh, pathetic. Th so you converted 1,400 men? Yes, very young men, uh, 17 to 21. And so now they're learning how to, they're growing into manhood? Absolutely, they're and going to church every Sunday.